Hello one and all and welcome back. I forgot my intro there for a second, that would have been humiliating. Um, hopefully we have, this is the third, well, yeah, this is the third full episode, this is the third full episode, second attempt of this, well. I can't lock on, what's going on with my keys? Am I not doing something right? No, no, we're doing that again. We're doing that again. So, yeah, this is the third, I guess, episode in this session I'll be able to do. I do like doing series like this, so I can gauge when an episode is going to be an episode. Mainly due to time. Because I don't like editing too much out of these. If it's, if it's like this, like RPG or very story based, I don't like editing stuff out. Like Subnautica, that was edited all over the place. I would cut out like, I would cut out like 40 minutes of gameplay at a time, you know. But this, I'll probably cut out, what, a minute, two minutes for video. And I kind of like that, not because it's less work when it comes to editing, but you guys get to experience as much of the journey as possible. I like kind of cut out the points you don't need to see. Either because they make no sense or it makes no... Yep, we'll take them down anyway. Yeah, if it's like stupid stuff like I get lost or I walk around in circles like I'm farming, I'll cut that out. But for the main story, you guys are with me all the time and I kind of like that. Isis. Ooh. The voice sounded familiar though. Should it have sounded familiar? Oh, wait, hang on, can we look at it? Can we look at the vestige? Vestige. A crystal fragment requires to a fragment required to restore Isis, Isis vestige too. Could it be a one? Most Nicola, Lewis, Kevin. We should probably go back to their base at some point and start putting these together. And then continue afterwards. Wait, where did we come from? We came from that doorway, why? There's only two, right? So why we came in the way way out? That's it. Okay, good. There might be something here. Yeah, I know. It's this way. I just wanted to make sure. Are we fighting the big guy now on the bridge? No, we're not at the top yet. No, we're going to the top. Never mind, we are fighting him. I'm going to climb straight up. Let me just pop my head over the top. I see lost way over there. Yeah, I see him too, unfortunately. Can I fight you over here? Can you come over here? Off the bridge, thank you. Jiggle physics. Um. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Up the bum. Interesting. Okay, so I managed to put the fed up that time and it did do a little bit of damage. But I guess so. I mean, they were blocking the path. We're too ready to drag that room around if that was the case. Oh, she defected it, okay. Keep bombarding and I'll go up the bomb. Woo. 
that's just generally all it is. It's just missing bomb stabs. Because all the enemies seem to be taller than me. You have to use every tool you have, right? We should be okay once we figure out the layout. I mean, this area is quite big, actually. It's, it's literally a labyrinth of circular and walkways. Circular platforms and walkways. That's generally what it is. All over the place. I feel like we've missed something. And I hate that feeling. No, we should be fine. We're good. We're good. You can't go ahead on your own. Yes, I can. You'll catch up. I believe in you. Classic camera. Oh, you might be useful as a gift. I do like hearing the sound effects, like that little fire sounding effect when I clicked on it. It reminds me so much of the fire effect from Star Fox Adventure. I still one of my favorite games that is. Um, really want to play it on the channel at some point. I really do, but I really can't be out recording console stuff anymore, just because it's not worth. It's I think Tales of Aspire and Resonance of Fate ruined that for me. To be honest, for recording them into console games, just the fact you put all the effort in to get the setup to go record them. And that time I was playing those, I was living with my um, mum still, so it's the case of when the family home, with mum and my siblings, and I had the smaller room, so I kind of had like the hapage, that's the capture card I used, which was connected to the TV, then I had a little chair in the centre of my room, which had the hapage on, but the wire was going to my PC, which was on the other side of the room to the TV. So, and because my room was so small, it was literally about, about I would say, maybe about... 60, not even 60 centimetres, so about 40, 50 centimetres, or about 40 centimetres of walkway between the bed and the TV. And then from, so, and then from the end of the bed to the other side of the wall, it was probably about, what, 60 centimetres, maybe 70? So I didn't have much room to work with when it came to where to put the stool and put the half arch across. So as soon, as soon as someone came to open that door, because there's no matter of privacy in the house, so as soon as it opens the door, that's it, mate, not the half arch. <laughs> the TV would go off. I was like, oh, for Christ's sakes. It was a nightmare to record in that house. But it did come up with some... It did bring some funny moments, I will, I will admit. Especially when it came to editing. Stuff I didn't keep in because of, you know, private family and privacy and stuff like that. But it did... Editing, it did make me laugh. I mean, if they weren't... If they didn't mind about the privacy so much, I would have shared it. But, you know... I'm not going to put my family over the internet if they don't want to be. Damage report. Yeah, it was a damage report. I wasn't expecting that either, to be honest. Also, I want to look at the map, what you've done. Like, stuff like that. I like doing that stuff like that as well. I just stop talking while playing a game and just, just have, like, a personal discussion or chat. That's, that's always nice as well. I think that's the part in the streaming I wish happened more, I guess. Ooh, that looks big. We've been that way, though. Oh, no, we've been up there in the walkways. Where are we? Mia, do you know where we are? Because I have no clue. Where have we looped round to? I probably should have rested the missile, to be honest. That looks like death room. I think that's death room. That's death room. Okay, let's not go to death room straight away. Let's go this way. But underneath death room. You might be able to move on without fighting this one. Probably. But um that's not how we do things, Mia. Mia, okay. Mia, you might have been right on that one actually. That yeah. Yeah, you may have been right. Provence should not have thought that one. Morning, yeah, um, morning. Yeah, morning. Um, 
Yeah, you were right. We got spanked. Really shouldn't have thought that. So let's go do it again. I need to remember I'm not in my code I'm used to fighting in. But then again, I do like leveling up stuff, so it's kind of nice to be able to level up these abilities on the go, rather than just farming, which... The reason I didn't level up on the go originally, actually, I should probably point this out, was because of this. I was scared of getting my ass handed to me constantly. I don't care anymore. I'm enjoying myself. They can spank me all they want in a code I'm unfamiliar with. I don't care. I kind of wish this cell was, like, more staggering, like, stuff, or something made... Right, I'm going to run. So I want this back. I want this back. Why could I not pick them up while running? That is such a stupid thing to have in the game. Keep shooting him. I'll distract him. I won't distract him. He killed me. I did something. I'm not useless. I did something, Mia. Praise me, please. Mia, kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it, Mia. Kill it. Yeah, what does the regeneration factor do? So I've got another one now, but I'm not regening. I didn't check that earlier. I just assumed it would be a regen, but I'm not regening. I've only just realised this. I thought it was just really slow regen. Like, um... I lost the ring from in Dark Souls that regens you, like, 1 HP over a certain amount of time. Um... I can't remember. What does it do, then? Mental Pony enhances regenerative power. What does it do? Oh, it increases your health! Oh, right. It's the, um... It's the Estus upgrade. Um... Fire keep the oh, fire keep the soul, is it? What was it? The one that makes the each pot bigger. That one. That thing, it's that's what it's doing. It's making me get more health per pot. I like that. There was something else in that, was there? Don't have to fight him again. Yes, I need one more of those, please. One more. One more of those would be nice. Why did I think it was a regen? Why would I assume in a Souls-like game there would be health regeneration? Mark of Honor? Right, okay, we're looking that up. What's that? Mark of Honor. Mark of Honor. Where would that be? Where do you reckon? Where do you reckon? The special mark of those who have accomplished great feats with fellow revenants. Go on. Collecting these lets others know of your activities in the areas and improves your reputation as a companion. An ownerless mark tells the tale of battle that ended in a tragedy. Oh, I'm not online either. I need to reset that. I forgot. I forgot I DC'd in the first video. Oh well. I'd rather not interrupt the session now. If, it, if I'm not getting frame issues, I'd rather not change anything. Well, yeah, I'm not getting frame issues. And the only thing that's different is I'm not online. What? Okay, that's just got back. Surely that's a coincidence. That's not. Nothing to do with the problem, surely. That would make no sense. Mask on. We're going in. That is such a cool ability. I'm sorry, I love that ability. It sounds cool, it looks cool, I like it. I want it. 
So I'll drop back down that side. No, I cannot. Where are we? Mia, do you know where we are? Oh, we're outside death room. We're outside death room. I know it's death room, it's the amount of dots in the minimap from our van all over the bloody place in it. Oh, there were bin men outside collecting the bins. I do apologise for that noise. Right. Are we good? This is now unmarked terrain again. Shoot him down. Oh, I hit the right key to parry and I fought the wrong key. But I didn't parry, he died before I could. Yeah, I want that. How do we get there? Through there. It's probably worth me not trying to parry, actually. He says as he does it, yes! Now, I think there's more merit in dodging, man, because dodging gets your focus up. So getting random and backstabbing is probably the best way to do it. I mean, a tight corner, a tight pass, maybe try and parry. Be sure to take a rest if you're tired. I will do. It won't open. Let's try to find another way. It's just past. What the hell's that over there? Oh, that's like webbing. Oh, I don't want to fire a spider. Have to keep you around. Oh. I know, Logan. Well. I don't want to fight a giant spider. I don't like spiders. Who have you seen? What are you fighting? Oh, okay. What, you want to keep around for moral support or something? Because I'm not doing anything. You okay? Are you stuck? Oh, you saw him. Okay, he was just in your range. Ooh, tower? Or walkway? Walk away. We'll come back to tower. We'll come back to tower. No, you don't. Don't want to push you off the edge. Hang on. It's another drop. Why is there another drop? Oh, there's items there as well. Why is there another drop? And that takes me to where? I think drops should always be the last point I check, though, to be honest. You go up here, then you go in here. Oh, you're a good drop. I can take you. Right. That's a good drop. Yeah, don't run off the edge down. Leave that will cause death. Chemical light. Yeah, I should have locked onto attacking to be honest, rather than let myself go to the wall. This is interesting. Can you shoot him from here? I don't think I can. I'll try though. No, I can't. I was poked off the edge when we got up there.
to another drop around here, is there? No, they just want you to fall off on the corners, apparently, if you sprint. A good thing I don't sprint to these games, I like to see everything. Oh, that brings me here. Let's open this first, so we've got the shortcut. Right, we'll grab my item, and I'll knock him off the edge. Clean steel. Not really upgraded weapons in this yet, I should probably upgrade this thing I'm using now. But I hope this game, I really hope that more weapons will show up. I don't want this game to have the Bloodborne, pro Bloodborne problem. If you don't want the blood ball problems in my eyes, it's the fact there's no weapons in it. I like choosing weapons and going through them one by one to see which one I like. But for some reason in this game I've really stuck to the pole arms. I like the pole arms quite a bit. So we can drop down here. That, that is a path definitely we can do. Down in there, there's a switch in there for something. But do I want to go in there just near? Because there is another tower to explore still. Which is that one over there. Which I think I'm going to go do now. Because that's a shortcut. So I'm assuming that's the correct way to go. But again, there's always the path right to the left as well we've got. On the... From the start of this area. Which we haven't done yet. So... There's quite a bit to explore still. We haven't gone through the death room as well. Let's start away as well. Fight you or tower? I choose tower. Oh no, this is just confusing the hell out of me now. We'll put that to good use. We're surely we're at the edge now. Oh, we're not. There's another tower over there. There's a walk over there. Oh god, where are we? I could skip it, I could just drop down behind it, I don't need to fight it. Now we're on this side? Oh god damn it game. Okay, I love this I love this map, I love this area, it's so elaborate, there's so many ways to go. But my god, if you want to explore it all, it's a pain in the ass. Can I drop down here as well? Oh, I could drop down here as well. Oh, you're kidding me. Where does that go? Back to the start. Okay, so that's not too bad. That's a quick way back. And then there's a door here. What's this door go to? Oh, it's this one. Oh no, this is just confusing the living hell out of me now. Oh, there's too much. That's another shortcut. It's just... Oh, there's so much. Oh, my brain, it hurts. There's so much. Right now what's in here, then? And what was back there? Should we drop down and kill this thing? We're going to drop down and kill this thing. No, 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 don't give me away, don't give me away, don't give me away, don't give me away. Don't need to, I can't backstab the thing for some reason. I am behind you! You have mastered Venom Trap, Venom Shot, full damage reduction. Good. Good. That's all good stuff to master. What are we still mastering? Okay. Sanguine Raw. And Venom Buff. And down you go. Do need to win this episode. Up there too, right? 
big hole. Yes, I see that. Let's go have a look at it, shall we? Drain activator. Ospadachi. And they're down. No, they're not. Now we are. <laughs> Where the hell am I? Is that missile or is that some mapping thing? Oh, that for a map. I can't drop down somewhere, can I? No. I need to end the episode! Well, I guess I'm going to try and find my way back. There's a ladder underneath me, probably. Underneath me? Really? Where? So there wasn't one up there going up there, was there? No. Where's this ladder? It must be underneath, surely. Oh, it's there. It's all the way up there, then. Knock it down for another shortcut. So I'm going to end it here. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Also subscribe and also share the video around. It all helps me out a lot. And it is very much appreciated. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Or whatever I make next. Cheers for watching. And now I'm going to find my way back to Missile. This is going to take a while. I didn't even know where to begin. Thank you.